Uh, really starts out just playing tough. I mean, you want to come out, do your best, do your job, uh, be competitive at the end of the day. You just want to give everyone your best game. Everyone wants to, We have a target on our back, so everyone wants to give, the, give them our best game. But, uh, I mean, SAC is competitive enough, so really, yeah, it's just all about being competitive. You know, about halfway through the SAC season, the way that th things have uh, shaken out, Snyder kind of controls their own destiny. You guys are very much in the hunt, but you need to win out pretty much uh, to make this happen. So uh, how much do you look forward to that challenge of, of trying to stay in that conference race as we get moving along towards that point of the season? Uh, right now, it's, I mean, it's great because, I mean, we love the challenge. We just got to do our thing, win out. Uh, hopefully something happens over on Snyder's side that can help us move up to the top, but really it just comes down to chance and luck at this point. But we got to do our job, of course, but yeah. You got Northwood this coming Friday, another big game. What is the focus for this team, and what is Coach really preaching on this week that you guys are working on to get ready for what they prefer? Definitely defensive stops. We've been – our offense is starting to click right now, so we're starting to score a little more. But defensively, we're starting to – I don't know what's happening right now. We're just giving up or something. People are scoring on us. So right now it's just about defense and stops, rebounds, intensity, toughness. Jalen Jackson, you know, Fletcher Lawyer, two of the top five scorers in the state right now. Um, knowing that those guys can score, knowing that you guys have to guard Fletcher, a guy like that, in practice every day, does that give you maybe an advantage of, of trying to face a guy like Jalen, even though they have – different games essentially yeah because they're both offensive heavy players they both want to score the ball so when you're guarding someone like Fletcher you want to push them away from the basket keep them keep the ball out of their hands and that's what we want to do with Jalen we keep the ball out of his hands defensive stops uh really we don't uh attack or er, keep him out of the paint he's more of a drive heavy player so that's really what it's going to be about yeah we're just focusing on get ourselves ready we know they're a powerful team we know they got some a good, great player in Jalen Jackson I've played a lot with him so uh just knowing how we're going to stop him and uh maintain the other guys and get ourselves ready to get a win Friday night you know you look at you and you look at Jalen these are two of the top five scorers in the state Indiana you know all-star candidates uh, Mr. Basketball candidates I mean do you look at uh, do you get an extra kick out of like kind of the one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, I know it's Northrop versus Homestead, but, you know, getting a chance to go up against another premier player in the state of Indiana. Yeah, I mean, being a Division One basketball player, you, it's pretty cool to get to play against another college athlete. So uh, going up against someone, uh, it's going to be cool, it's going to be fun, and we're going to be ready to go. For this Homestead team, Coach was saying he feels like you guys are playing a better brand of basketball over the last few weeks. What are you doing well, and how do you make that continue? How do you carry that momentum over? Yeah, we had a rough stretch uh, going in the winter, but uh, we kind of got things going, and we're still working to get better. So uh, just coming in practice every day, getting the guys going with energy, um, just really playing well together. And we're focused on that and uh, getting ready to make a run in March. We're getting into the real heart of the SAC season. Right now, Snyder has a little bit of a leg up with the head-to-head -head on you guys, but you guys are very much still in the chase. So how important is a game like this this Friday to make sure you don't overlook a team like Northrop knowing that, you know, the goal of winning an SAC championship is still attainable as long as you take care of business? Yeah, obviously, you said, taking care of business. We know we need to come out and get a win and uh, hope everything else falls into our place. So uh, we uh, kind of put, dug ourselves a deep hole losing to Snyder, but we know what we got to do to win and uh, keep things going and get ready for the playoffs. What are you most looking forward to about this coming Friday's game against, as I mentioned, a dangerous Northwood? Yeah, another home game. We get to play in front of another home crowd. So uh, looking forward to that and uh, just getting our guys and getting ready to play and um, getting everyone to play together and get better each and every game into this game, what are you really stressing in practice? What are you really focusing on to get ready for what Northwood presents as a, as a dangerous SAC basketball? Well, they are dangerous. Um, we know that. Um, you know, they starts, it starts with Jalen Jackson. They've got a lot of pieces around him, though. You know, it's the same way with us. Fletcher Lawyer, we got a lot of pieces around him. So now it's a, a matter of, you know, doing the little things, making sure we are giving them only one shot opportunity. Uh, got hurt on the boards a few times uh, when we played Snyder that we're trying to improve upon. Uh, but, you know, it, it's good to be able to play these type of teams to see where deficiencies are and uh, put ourselves in the best possible position and be playing our best basketball at the end of the year. You mentioned a couple of things there. What are some of the things that you like about I saw you guys play against Northside last week. What are some of the things that you guys are doing well that you're trying to carry over from recent weeks? Well, I mean, I think that we're playing a better floor game from the standpoint of uh, taking what the defense gives us. And I feel like at times, at the beginning of the year, we, we forced a lot. That's something we want to do. Um, you know, over the last three games, I felt like we scored a lot better because of moving the basketball. Uh, against Columbia City, uh, you know, I think we had 74, 75 points. Against uh, Northside, about 85. That's the most we scored all year. We've got pieces around, uh, you know, Fletcher. And that's what I continue to stress. 
that it, when they're stopping you, make sure we're just making the right basketball play. And that's what we're continuing to stress, uh, you know, from now until the end of the year. Uh, you mentioned it a little bit as well, but uh, stopping Jalen Jackson, here's a guy who's in the top five scoring in the state, just like Fletcher. Um, you, you've gone against guys like Keon Brooks and, and big time scorers in the past. How do you go about slowing them down and stopping them? Or is it just the object trying to make everybody else not score and maybe they just get theirs? Like, what's the philosophy? Well, my philosophy is make sure, you know, we're still playing team defense. No, well, we got to know where Jalen Jackson is, of course. You know, one of the things that he does uh, extremely well, not only that, you know, can he shoot the outside shot, very physical underneath, though. It's a tough matchup for anybody. So we're going to have to know where he is. I mean, we're not going to, you know, well, I'll put it this way. We're going to put ourselves in the best possible position to be successful. Don't want to give any of the secrets away with what we're going to do, what we're not going to do. But, you know, we know that he he, he brings, uh, you know, a lot of talent. And, and, and he, he has a lot of talent around him. You know, Northrop is a, a, it's going to be a tough task come Friday night. So, you know, hopefully our kids are ready. Um, we gave them the day off yesterday because of the three games we played last week. But, uh, you know, we're, we're coming into practice today with a lot of energy. And hopefully that's going to carry over to Friday night.